Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our test rigor series. So, so far, very amazing things that we have seen with respect to test rigor. You must have seen in my previous videos as well. But today I will show you the actual use case with the AI based test automation tool because they claim that number one generative AI based test automation tool. So I'll try to give you one scenario, especially with the drag and drop. You must have seen the drag and drop in Selenium also for various examples like you have to drag this thing from here to here or i have found one really good example also you see that okay let's see this is the high tatris some image is available i have to drag it and from here to here and then see i'm going to drag all these uh, elements from here to here all these images from this photo manager section to the trash but now i really want to reverse it back <clears throat> right so i just want to give a normal prompt here normal english prompt here that uh, whatever this landscape, mountain landscape images are available, just move from trash to photo manager through the AI or using the AI. So AI will recognize this particular image that this image is having something like some mountains or something and then drag it from here to photo manager. Same thing again, mountain images available, same thing here and same thing here as well. Right. So how will you do this thing? So it's very simple, simple English prompt. And I was like really surprised that, okay, this tool is doing it perfectly fine. I have tested already on multiple applications. You can also try for these quick things. You don't need to write any single line of code here. <clears throat> so let's quickly start with that. I'm going to log in with the test trigger first. And um, after login, we will create a quick uh, test suite. First, I'll show you the very basic one, only one line of English sentence that you have to write. And then that's it. Okay, so here I'm going to create one, uh, uh, let's see, for example, drag and drop test. What is your application name? Let's see, the application name is this one. And this is a URL that I'm going to enter. Do you really want to generate the test cases using AI? No, we will write the test cases for our own. And uh, we are going to select OS, could be Windows, OS or anything. Click on create test suite from here. And when we create the test suite, I can simply create the add the test case here. And let's see the scenario number one that I'm talking about test case number one. <clears throat> let's see the test case number one is simple drag and drop. Okay. I'm not using any AI right now. I'll show you the AI in the next example. First, let's see the single simple drag and drop. How will you do that? So what you just need to do here is see, this is the application. This application will be launched drag me to my target this is an element name drag me to the target and drop it here so what you just need to do you just need to copy the content of this drag me to my target simple come back here and you just need to write that okay drag what from element to element which element the element text that you just need to write drag me to my target so i simple say element drag me to my uh, target to where to this drop here okay so as it is same spelling that i'm writing drop here and that's it so let's see is it really working or not add and run <clears throat> and then uh, it will just recognize it will just open the application it will recognize the element on the basis of the text given and then it should simple drag and drop there okay so i'll just open it and the test is still running and uh, let's see is it really working or not it will give me the screenshot and the complete journey of the use case also so first see it's opening the application and then it's recognizing these two elements you can see that okay highlighting this one and this one it's saying okay this is the dot uh target to this particular uh, drop here and then after that once the drag and drop is done you see that it's absolutely working here it actually dragged and drop here without any problem and then you don't need to write like selenium code creating the object of you know actions class and then doing some mouse movement and then dragging from one element to another element and all those things and then only one line of code that you have to write <clears throat> only it's not even a code only one line of sentence that you need to write drag from drag me to my target to drop here and that's it right now after that i'll simply say let's launch this some url so i'll simply say open the new url I can write in the same script, use this particular URL, and then you just simple paste it over here. And here now I have to do the exactly same thing. I'll just write the same script over here. 
that drag me to my target to drop here. But this time the element is, let's see, high Tatris, whatever this element I really want to drag from here and drop it here to high Tatris, right? So this is the thing. So first, let's see, I'll just try to drag all these elements, high Tatris, two, three, four, and this one also, I'll try to drag and drop. So I simply say that the element name is high Tatris to where? To the trash. Okay, this is a trash a section, it will automatically recognize. So I simply say to the trash. And likewise, I'll just copy the same script uh, four times so that I can just now say four, number four also, number three also, and number two also to the trash section. You see that, okay? And uh, you see that here, <clears throat> this is two, three, and four. And this one does not have any name, so I'm not writing any name here. And that's it. Okay, so let's run it. It's still not AI. It's still, it will automatically recognize on the basis of the text that we have given. And let's see, is it really working or not there? Okay, so test has started now. And then first, it will do the first application drag and drop. After that, let's see the second one is also opening or not. So now it's opening the second one. You see that, okay. And then it is recognizing both the uh, sections. And then you see that, okay, the first is already done. Two is already done. Let's see the third one is already done or not. Yes, the third one is also done. And the fourth one is also done. It means all the images from here to here already dropped here. Now the actual challenge is that when all these images are available here, see the, the text, you see that high Tatris 2 is not visible here. See, it does not have any title or any text over here when you move everything to the trash section. So then the test trigger will will not be able to identify that, okay, what on what basis, on what text basis, I have to move the element from trash to the photo manager, right? So now this is, will be a challenging part. You can check that, okay, it will be failed. So let's quickly see that, okay, is it really failing or not? To where? To the photo manager. Okay, something like this that we have to write it here, right? Or I can see one thing that, okay, fine drag from height address to the photo manager, something like this. So this is, let's see, a photo manager section, and this is the element name, but this element name is not visible here. And I'll do the same thing for, let's see, for number four, or number three or two. So I just want to check, okay, uh, this height address for to photo manager is really happening or not. Okay, so let's update and retest. It should be failed because uh, see that it does not have any text over here, but let's see, is it really working or not? to this particular photo manager. And then see this, it's taking time. It's not able to recognize it. I'll say, okay, this image has to be dropped over here or any of them should be dropped over here to the photo manager, which is not working. And then after some time, it will be failed, right? So now how to solve this particular problem, right? In order to solve this problem, if you go to their documentation, they have given with the help of AI capabilities. So if I search for, let's see, uh, for drag and drop, you see that, okay, this is what they have multiple options that they have given. Drag element to element that we have seen it over here. This is an example that they have given. If you really want to drag any file also, that also you can do that to that particular element. And then see this, this is what they have given that, uh, see another example, let's see for the canvas offset zero to zero. Maybe I can take another example for this also, maybe in one of the chapter I can explain in future. And then here they have given something like this also here. Right. So all these options that they have given, but if you see that, okay, or using the AI to find the elements location, it says that, uh, drag W3C school to something like this, using the AI, something like this, that they have given over here using AI. It means I really want to use the AI capabilities here, drag all these things from photo manager to trash, but nothing is dragging and dropping back from here. You see that. It's not able to recognize and then it says that I cannot find the element by description of this. See this, I hope you guys can see that. Cannot find the element by descriptor, element by descriptor, high Tatris 4 because it's not visible here. There is no high Tatris 4 proper text is not visible here, right? So in that case, now it's very simple. This thing will not work here like that. We have to do what? We have to use the AI capabilities here and what will be the syntax? The syntax, let's see that I have already written over here, just four lines that I'm writing. I'll explain you what exactly it is. 
it says that okay see this drag the mountain landscape image within the context of trash to photo manager it means from trash to the photo manager using the ai capabilities using ai we have to use it here and that's it so mount mountain landscape image if you see that all these images are having the mountscape landscape okay so some mount mountain landscape is there see here also we see that some mountain landscaping here also here also here also all these four images are having some uh, mountain landscaping there let's say tomorrow you have one image one person one guy is cycling one guy is you know driving the car or there is a car image if you really want to move so you can give a description over here that let's see the person who is driving the cycle drop i mean drag that particular image from here to here something like this also you can give it here okay so this is just like drag mountain landscape image with the context of trash to photo manager using ai okay and then update and reset uh, retest let's see is it really working or not so first of all see all the drag work is done from photo manager to here now let's see is it really so this is the last image over here so far okay everything is dropped here now let's see it's really a dropping from trash to the photo manager so let's see is it really working or not see it's taking time and yellow means this is still running in progress you see that here this is still in progress it is still not failed if it is failed let's see but now it's able to recognize these two guys perfect you see that okay it actually dropped the element from here to here the mountain skip image now dropped over here the first image is dropped here and all these four images are having the similar kind of content similar kind of image mountain landscape but this is a different image but the concept is same so let's see the image context is same actually so let's see for the second image also using the ai uh, using the ai is it really able to do a drag and drop so still recognizing it okay again recognizing it perfect see this can you see the second image also from here to here height tatras 4 nice so let's see what about these two images these two images are also having the similar kind of context which is the mountain landscape again perfect so see that the third one is also absolutely working fine here right the third one is also absolutely working great nice let's see the last one okay so now the last one is also able to recognize and then it should drop it here so you see that okay it's recognizing it okay there is one image when the and see such a small image is still able to recognize it okay this is this image is having the mountain landscaping and this is a photo manager i have to drag from here and drop it here and the next the screenshot you can see the final thing this all these four images are actually dropped here to the photo manager this is like crazy this is like amazing thing that they have given and then you can also try for these kind of scenarios you don't need to write any single line of code and it works perfectly fine for the canvas also for any kind of drag and drop based applications if you are having it if you're having these use cases you just give a nice english sentence write the proper context over here using the ai capabilities you can easily do that if you don't want to use without i mean if you want to use without ai you can use this one also make sure that okay it's having some at least text to recognize that particular element right but here we are using the ai capabilities over here so i hope you like this particular feature so you can also try on other applications let me know if you are facing any issues or just share the url with me i'll also try from my side that if it is not working for the drag and drop in your application so that's all for this video i hope you tried it if you really want to use test trigger guys there is a 15% discount is going on with my uh, utm link uh, that you will find in the description if you really want to try this test trigger tool it is like initially absolutely free of cost but after that if you really want to use for the enterprise version of or the for writing the more advanced test cases and everything you can get and use my coupon code to get the 15% discount on this test trigger pricing so that's all for today and then i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all